Okay, hopefully you're a bit comfortable now with cylindrical lenses, so let's do some practice problems to really drive things home. So there's two ways we can do a practice problem, obviously. One way is I can give you the power of the lens, say plus 2 x is 90, or I can give you the power cross and say what power cylindrical lens if this is 30, and they're Plano over here, and minus 4 over here. So, um, so I want you to pause. Give me the answer to this one, and then give me the answer to this one. Um, so pause it now, and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so the first one is plus 2 axis 90. So we know it's axis 90, so we just draw the regular old 90 and 180 power cross. And where the 90 is, is Plano power, because where the axis is, there's no power. And where that means where the 180 is, there's plus 2 power. And again, the problem doesn't ask this question, but halfway between the two would be halfway between the two. Plus one. Okay, the next problem now we're going to follow the other way. If this is 30, then 30 plus 90 is 120. The Plano is along the 120 axis. So we know we're axis 120, and we know the power is minus 4. So the way we write that is minus 4 axis 120. Okay, now this, don't say minus 4 at 120. This is minus 4 at 120, which is something totally different. Minus 4 at 120 means the minus 4 is at 120. Okay, this is the opposite of that. So please don't get in the habit of saying minus 4 at 120. It means something totally different. It, the correct way to say this is minus 4 axis 120. Okay, let's do a couple more problems. And then uh, we will go on to the next section, which is toric lenses. All right, so let's do a couple more problems. Uh, one of them is let's say plus 250 axis 45 and let's say the other one is this okay so pause and do these problems okay unpause so now what we know is we know we know that We've got the 45, which is uh, this one, I'm sorry, and then the 135 is this one. So the axis is along the 45, so that's where the Plano is, so the power must be along the 235. I'm sorry, oops. So the axis must be, I'm sorry, the power must be along the 135, which is 250. And again, I'm going to keep driving this home. Halfway between Plano and 250 is halfway between Plano and 250, which is 125. All right, so this other one, we know that the Plano is along the 180, so the axis is 180, and then we know that the power is plus 1. And how do we say this? plus 1 axis 180. And the average is halfway between Plano and plus 1 is plus 50. And I keep driving this home um, because that's actually something we're going to learn to figure out later. So it's important to kind of figure out what is the average between the lowest number that we find and the highest number that we find. So somewhere on this axis is the lowest number, somewhere in the axis is the highest number, and then halfway in between is the average. Okay, on to toric lenses.